Gotcha! <laughs> hey you guys, okay, so I am about to cook dinner and I'm watching Vanessa's vlog while I'm gonna cook dinner. I posted an Instagram picture while I was um, watching Sophia's vlog yesterday. And now I'm cooking dinner and watching Vanessa's vlog. <laughs> yeah, so by the way, if y'all are wondering, hold on. If y'all did happen to see my profile pic, or not my profile pic, my Instagram picture that I put, I actually have Velcro. So, and it holds up pretty well because yesterday I was cooking and um, actually washing dishes. And um, it holds up pretty well. I just have to make sure the square is where it's supposed to be but other than that it's pretty good it, it holds pretty well and yeah just hopefully it doesn't fall in my sink because my sink's like right here so that would really suck but yeah um i'm gonna cook dinner i have a few videos on my phone so hopefully the formatation isn't off and my computer can actually edit that footage but yeah so I'm gonna say if this looks scrumptious, it probably doesn't, but I'm just kind of lazy right now, and I'm not feeling good. I woke up with congestion, and you hear Cece in the background. Shut up, Cece! I'm trying to talk here. Anyway, I wasn't even looking at her, but yeah. I'm watching her vlog now. Anyway, um, I just wanted to make like this soup caldo type thing. It's my new creation called... Um, sopa con papa caldo. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna make that. Just let that simmer. And yeah, um, I'm using traditional mantillas Italiano pasta sauce. Yeah, it tastes like pizza. Not really, but I'm gonna let this boil. And then. Probably put my water in it because it looks a little dry. But yeah, um, it smells good though. Like I love the spices that I put. I put what did I put in it? Hold on. I put traditional salt. It's the Stone Mills brand. I guess I don't know. And then I put some black pepper. Some black coarse or coarse ground pepper and then what makes it smell amazing was this um coror corner caldo de caldo con sabor de pollo is basically um freaking bouillon chicken flavored bouillon and yeah um i loved it because like when I, um I make sure that my pa I don't know if you can see, but I kind of make sure that my pasta is like toasty. And when I was toasting my pasta, I put Jeez. the salt oh. and, the, and yeah. the spices in it. And oh my god, just frying those spices smelled go so good, made my kitchen smell amazing. Jeez. But yeah, I just love it. So I'm gonna let that yeah. boil. Keep moving it, <laughs> but um, let that boil and then lower it down. But I'm going to let that boil a little bit, a little bit. Like, I don't know. I think I slept too close to the air conditioner and it was, like, right in my face. And I woke up congested. My throat was hurting a little bit. And, yeah. My nose isn't stuffy. Well, sort of. But I can breathe just fine. But I just feel, like, so congested right here. And I just feel like shit. Plus, I'm in my special days and that's not helping. And, yeah, I just feel like shit. But I woke up when my husband left, like, around 4, 45, because he woke up at 4.30. We woke up at 4.30. And then, that's probably why I look like shit right now, because I didn't even bother getting ready. And I was going to do the super mommy tag that I was going to do yesterday, because... Um, Sophia tagged me in it, but I'm probably going to have to do it either Monday because tomorrow I can't do it because my husband's not working and when my husband's not working, we have, that's family time for us, so I don't touch my social media as much as I would if, you know, yeah. so, 
I'm gonna let that cook. And I'm gonna go chill. It's like dark now. Anyway, go chill, watch C say. And yeah. Hey you guys, okay, so right now I'm going to do my nails and I'm not going to show myself because I, I feel like crap. I woke up today sick as freak. Anyway, so what I'm going to do today with my nails, everything I'm going to use is shown. I'm going to use these Kiss Nail Dress, they're just these pretty gold with um, rhinestones and they cost me a dollar at Big Lots. And then... I'm going to use this Wet n Wild um, Craze, I guess it's the Craze line, I'm not sure, and this is in the color Rustic, I've had this for a long while now, and then just uh, NYC Top Coat, and then Beauty Secrets Base Coat, and then these cute Hello Kitty nail decals, I bought them a while while back, um, how do you call it? Okay, I bought them a while back. They were like two dollars, I think I bought them for. And they're really cute. They have bows. She has her teddy bear and then have her, of course, wearing a blue outfit, a purple outfit, a pink outfit, and a red outfit, and then a purple outfit with her bear. One of the blue outfits. Oh no, not the blue outfit. It's just oh, an orange with her little bear and stuff like that. So yeah. So I'm gonna see how I'm gonna do it, and yeah, I'll let you know what's up. Okay, you guys. So that's what I came up with. Um, it may look kind of amateur or whatever, but I ain't no no professional or anything. This nail, I just have the purple Hello Kitty. Okay, so I stopped the recording so you can see it a lot better, a lot closer, because my camera don't autofocus automatically while it's recording, but this is the purple Hello Kitty. Uh, yeah, so I put it like that, leaning to the right. Well, yeah, and then on this finger I have the little bear with the bow on the left. And then my index finger has a hello orange Hello Kitty upside down. And then this one has just a kiss nail sticker. And then this one has the red Hello Kitty um, facing, rocking to the right. So yeah. But yeah, so that's my full hand, and there, it's the same on each hand, just opposite. So like on this one, instead of leaning to the right, it's leaning to the left. And then this one, instead of having the bow on the left, the bow's on the right. And this one's still upside down. And then this one's the same on both hands. And then this one, instead of leaning to the right, it's leaning to the left. So that's one hand. And that's the other I'm going to Instagram them so you can go ahead and see them. We probably already have by the time this vlog is up. But yeah, I'm just waiting for my husband because we have to go to, um, uh, how do you call it, I guess, buy food. So, yeah. Hey, you guys. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a smoothie today, and yeah, I'm going to be using my new blender. It's actually a margarita slash slushy maker, but I'm pretty sure if it's crush ice, it can crush anything else. Mama. So, Mama. yeah, I'm going to see how this Mama. works. What, baby? Mama, this is crush ice, Mama. I'm going to see if it works. I put some spinach and some frozen wet fruits and see how this goes.
So I have made a mess of things, but um, this is the consistency that I came out with. Um, it is slushy type, sort of, but I like ran it kind of long, so I made sure it wasn't too slushy. And I am draining it because there's um, I use strawberries and bl and blueberries. Yeah, I uh, know. Um, I forgot what the berries are called. Strawberries and blackberries. There you go. The purple one. Wait, Maria. Oh yeah, there's also blueberries in there. But anyway, you know how the little strawberries and blueberries have those little brown dots or whatever? Yeah, those are like there and those are annoying. So I'm gonna get ready those to out. head to Publix. Well, actually, to fax off something. Um, whew, I'm like sick, and I don't know if I look sick. I know I sound sick, but um, how do you call it? I know you can't see crap, but it's like dark. Um, I'm gonna head to FedEx, not FedEx, yeah, no, FedEx, yeah, FedEx, to fax off, a paper ID to fax off, and then to Publix, because I want to make banana bread today, and, yeah, and I had to buy some jalapenos, because we forgot yesterday, because we went to go buy, uh, groceries yesterday, and I forgot, to, we forgot to buy that, and yeah, I already got my brat all dressed up, all I have to do is... Say hi. hi. All I have to do is put on some shoes and yeah. Then I'm going to try to whip up this vlog. I had a few footage. I had a few footages on my phone. But then I deleted it because there was this app I wanted to download. But then there was not enough room in my phone. But then I decided not to. And then I forgot. I accidentally deleted all my footage. And I was like, ugh. I don't know, you guys. So yeah, um, I'm going to get ready. And I'll see if I can vlog. Um, while I'm on my way, but yeah. Okay, so I'm on my way to FedEx. Uh, I know you can see, just see the corner of my head, or the corner, I um, mean, like, just in the corner, you can see more the top of my damn car. But, but yeah, I'm trying to alter it. Not really, I don't know. But yeah, you guys. Oh, it's so hot. Oh my god. I don't even know why I'm getting sick. It doesn't even feel like a weather change. But, I don't know. Every time at the end of the year when it gets from hot to cold, not hot to cold, but like from autumn to winter, I always get sick. It kind of sucks. And yeah, so I'm going to go to FedEx to fax off some papers. Then I'm going to go to Publix to, to basically, um, here comes like a big old truck. Anyway, I can like hear the truck. Mama, shut up! Ooh, scary truck. Shut up. Yeah, you can sort of see it like in the front right there. But yeah. Um, scary truck, I want scary. You can like see Mario. Anyway, you guys, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, go get some congestion medicine. Get some of the stuff I need to make banana bread. Fuck in that car. But then behind me, this asshole. Sorry. Like, it just pisses me off when you have the right of way, they have red, and you're turning to the left, and they're turning to the right because they're like across from you. And then you go because it's green, and then the idiots, and you have to go all the way to the end, and they're like right there, and they get in, and oh my god, it's just so frustrating. I swear, I think I have road rage from that. Like, it's just so frustrating. Oh my god. You're trying to be good and, and have precaution, and be a good driver and then them idiots just go in. Oh, watch out! Yeah, watch out, baby. They don't watch out. Watch out. So, yeah, I'm going to this plaza. This plaza. Uh, and I hate it here because I don't hate it, but it's really frustrating because they have really small, not small parking spaces, but the parking is like close together and it kind of sucks and like the aisles are damn 
roads here are kind of narrow and small. Like this damn corner, two cars do not fit. So you know I'm gonna park far away so I'm secure and I know that I'll be able to get out easily. So I'm parking kind of far away, not really. But just not right in front of the FedEx office either. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, you guys. That's okay, okay, so I'm home. Uh, what, right now, um, like I said before, I wanted to do a banana bread, right? And I'm gonna do that first. But the, another thing I wanted to be, what I want to be doing for a long while, I'm not even making sense. The, ne the next thing I'm gonna do after I do the banana bread is Jello, because a while back I mentioned I bought some silicone silicone little trays and I wanted to make little jellos little cute jellos for my son so that's what I'm gonna do after but right now I'm gonna take a picture of the ingredients and what I have to do because I have to put it like do it so yeah this is my mixture doesn't it look delish the only thing I didn't have was vanilla extract which I'm kind of pissed off but it's okay um, it said baking soda, but I put baking powder because baking soda isn't that for like cleaning. Mama, because I ah, swear, ah, look, hold on. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's the one, two. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there you go, baking soda. You see, like right there, right here. You can see it. Okay, okay. It says baking soda, and I'm like, what? So I bought baking powder and I put baking powder instead of baking soda because my aunt, she bakes and she says it's baking powder. So yeah, it tastes good. I'm going to put it in the pan and y'all. Okay, so uh, I finished my banana bread and this is how it came out. I know it looks really light. I think it's because I didn't put the vanilla extract. Um, I'm going to buy some next time. But it's pretty good. Um... I, I, I stole a piece a little bit before it was fully cooked, I think, because it tasted still a little raw. But, um, yeah, so now I'm cooking dinner and the chicken's in the oven. I made rice. I don't know if I'm going to make beans or not. But I do have to make a salsa for my son, my husband. And I think I'm still going to make that jello. I'm not sure. So, yeah.